This is Goody Reader News with Michael Kozlowski. Sony was a legend in the e-reader business. They were the, one of the first companies to adopt a touch screen. And not only that, but they included a stylus. Uh, this allowed the casual reader pinpoint precision in taking notes, making highlights, making little drawings, annotations, and so on. Early on in the year, they abandoned the consumer sector and decided to focus more on corporate. And this left a void in the e-reader industry for solid e-readers that allowed people to interact with it with a stylus. Kobo may be rising to the challenge. A few months ago, Nectronics, which is Kobo's manufacturer when it comes to all hardware, showed off an interesting device that had a Wacom display in the body of a Kobo Aura HD. So does this lead people to assume that Kobo is going to be able to release a new e-reader in 2015 with a Wacom display? Now with Wacom, it's the artist's choice. I worked for a number of years in the game development industry. All the 2D, 3D artists I know, whether they're making pixel art or whether they're making the cutting edge games, they all use a Wacom, uh, Wacom interactions with a stylus. So what I think is going to be able to happen is um, we're going to see a Kobo e-reader with a Wacom display. and. I've heard various rumors coming out of Taiwan that they're going to be using a platform called Will. And Will is the Wacom Ink Layer Language. It's a universal inking engine and ink layer framework which connects hardware, software, and applications. Will is a technology that enables high quality digital pen and ink experience. Likely, Kobo will employ the Will SDK for its Linux based operating system, for integration with its Kobo reading apps, as well as custom note taking apps. What I think is Kobo is hoping to accomplish is to be able to make a consumer version of the Sony Digital Paper. Now, that is one of the highest rated devices that we've ever give. It was a 10 out of 10. It was a 13.3 inch device, lighter than a six inch device. And it had the best interactions with being able to edit PDF documents. What I think Kobo is gonna do with the Wacom display is to make a consumer friendly version under $240 in a 6.0 inch display and allow people to be able to take those sort of notes to be able to have that high inter integration with the stylus and be able to really do a lot more than just read ebooks now. For Goody Reader News, my name is Michael.